this is a study in how you can manipulate ignorant people. are talking about sacrifice uh, you see the sacrifice of Ramadan at the end of the Ramadan what is the point of it I challenge any Muslim to tell me you sacrifice at the end of the Ramadan a big sacrifice and you call it Eid al-Adha which means the day of sacrifice unbelievable you call it Eid al-Adha the day of sacrifice I challenge you to bring me any book from any Muslim scholar worth the shoelace of his shoe that ever conflated or made a mistake of joining Eid al-Adha with Ramadan. As a matter of fact, let's even go to Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia would tell you different than that. Wikipedia would teach us a little bit about um, what the, the holidays of the Muslims. Muslim holidays. According to Wikipedia, there are two official holidays in Islam. Eid al-Fitr, and Eid al-Adha. Eid al-Fitr is celebrated at the end of Ramadan. Eid al-Fitr is celebrated at the end of Ramadan, a month of fasting during daylight hours. And Muslims usually give zakat, charity, on the occasion. At the end of the Eid, we give charity. Sacrifice has nothing to do with Eid al-Fitr. Eid al-Fitr is the Eid after the month of Ramadan. On the uh, on that occasion, Eid Adha is celebrated on the tenth day of Dhul Hijjah. When is Dhul Hijjah? Dhul Hijjah is the last month of the Islamic calendar. It's three months after the month of Ramadan. It was a face palm moment. Okay, it was a face palm moment. You will see you know, the problem is people are ignorant. People do not read. <laughs> Uh, man, he's calling somebody ignorant, and this guy makes I don't know how many blunders. Listen to this next blunder. Listen to this next one. Hmm. If you go in the Quran, you will see the Quran saying that you fast for a yamun ma'dudat. Which, if you go, if you go to chapter two, verse number one eighty-three. It says, Kutiba alaykum al-siyam, alright? The same as it was for the people before you. What does that mean? Is that Ramadan? Who is the people before Muslims? If this is for the Christians and the Jews, well, we don't have Ramadan. No. no. We never heard. Okay, now, uh, this point here. Now, you, you, Chris, um, Christian Prince is speaking, and see, Edwards is just shaking his head all the time, just agreeing with everything he says. Uh, but let us listen to the, uh, the ayat that he's talking about. Is it so to Baqarah? Well, Allah mentions about fasting. He doesn't mention about Ramadan. He says fasting. And the translation we, see, we, we get to after he recites the ayah. Let, let, let us hear some Quran and then let us bring this point. Bismillah. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba ala alladheena min qablikum. Okay, so this is the ayah that he's talking about in Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah uh, 2, 183. In the ayah, the translation, Allah says, O you who believe, fasting has been prescribed upon you, is written for you, as it was written for those who came before you. Fasting has been prescribed for you, written for you, as it was prescribed for those who came before you. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about. He's talking about fasting. He didn't say Ramadan is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those who came before you. He says fasting. And was there fasting amongst the early people? Indeed there was. Ramadan and no, no Jews practice Ramadan and nobody have such a thing. So when the Quran... No Jews and nobody practice Ramadan. It's not about practicing Ramadan. It's about partaking in fasting. Kutiba alaykum siyam. This is an Arabic speaking guy. He speaks Arabic. And he makes the most gross mistakes in Arabic. Kutiba alaykum musiyam. Not kutiba alaykum Ramadan. It was a face palm moment. Okay? It was a face palm moment.
there is the attack of Al Buwayra or Al Buwayb, and this is was in the year 13 for Al Hijra, and uh, Muhammad he killed a lot of people in that attack. Who? And uh, Muhammad he killed a lot of people in that attack. And one more time. Uh, and uh, Muhammad he killed a lot of people in that attack. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Now he said in the year 13 Hijra in a battle of Buwayb, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam killed many people in that attack. What's the problem with that? The problem is for anybody who knows the history of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him died in the 10 year Hijra. He died in the 10th year of the Hijra. That's three years before the Battle of Buwayb. He died in the 10th year of the Hijra. That's three years before the Battle of Buwayb. It was a facepalm moment, okay? It was a facepalm moment.